Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz and I'm back with more useful use cases, automations that you can do using Zapier. And in this video, we're going to be talking about two different use cases. One is going to be a really basic one where you actually search for certain emails in your account and then you can actually go on and post them inside Google Sheets. This use case is helpful when you need to collect information even when you're offline and this app would do it automatically for you. And the second automation would be something like for an e-commerce store or a company that actually sells something online. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send a dummy order from one of my emails to the email that I'm watching. And then this app would actually go on and check out my inbox and see if there is a new email it would actually convert that into a Slack notification, which would land right here in the order email channel. And then my team can go on and work on the order and dispatch it. So I hope you understand the scenario. Let's actually dive right into it, start building these apps. To create a new zap, let's just go and click on create. Let's go to zaps here. And that's all you need to do. Now let's actually go on and set our first trigger here. So the trigger is going to be my Gmail or my email. So I'm just going to go and send the trigger here. And let's just choose Gmail from here. Now, you need to actually configure your account here. You need to sign up. Mine is already done. So you can just click here and sign up. It's just a few seconds process. After that, you will have to select a trigger event here. So I'm just going to go and select this new email matching search. Now, the next thing that you want to do is let's go and hit continue. And we will be configuring the search string. Now, what this is, is actually a string which you're looking for inside your email. So for this case scenario, I'm just going to go and say two. Then I'm going to specify the email name or the email address. And there you go. Now, why actually this exact string? If I go back to my email, I can see that I have an email matching this same string. So I want to extract the information from this email. This way you can actually even go on and specify an email address and it would actually go on and grab all the emails from that email address. And then you can populate that inside your Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do is hit continue and let's test this out. And as you can see, I have an email. This is the email that was sent. And yes, this is the content of the email. So yeah, it's working. Now that we have our Gmail configured, what we need to do is we need to actually add a Google Sheets module here. So I'm just going to go and add a Sheets module. My account is already configured. Let's select the action. The action that I want is to actually update spreadsheet rules here. Let's go. Let's go and configure it. I'm going to choose my drive. As for the spreadsheet, I'm going to choose case one. As for the worksheet, it's going to be sheet one. Now, the next thing that we want is to actually add content inside the columns of this spreadsheet here, like this column emails here. So I need to insert data for email. So I'm just going to go and click on this plus icon here and this will do all the mapping. So I want the body. That's all I want for now and continue. Now the next thing we want is to actually test this out. So I'm just going to go and click test here and there you go. The test was successful and it did update in the row. If I go to my spreadsheet, this is the body of the email right here if I can show you. So yeah, it is actually working. This was a really simple and basic use case. Now we're going to go and be more practical and add a new use case, which is for companies who are selling online like e-commerce stores and people who want to manage delivery for their product. So I'm just going to go and create a new app. This time the trigger is going to be the same. It's going to be a Gmail trigger. As for the trigger event, it's going to be a new email. Every time there's a new email in the inbox, it's actually going to go on and trigger this app. Now the next thing is to configure. So I'm just going to go and say I want to watch the inbox only. So let's go and click here. That's all I need. As for the test, if I test now, as my inbox is empty, it's going to return nothing. As you can see, no new emails found. But as soon as I send a new email from a pseudo email account to this account, it's going to pop up here. Now, the next thing that we need to add here is going to be a filter because we want to filter out only the emails that are related to order. So I'm just going to go and add a filter here. And for that, let's go and click here. I'm just going to type filter. And Zapier has an amazing filter. So let's go and add that. Now, as for the filter, what we need to do is actually configure and test this out. And I want to only continue if I get the word order in the subject. So from the email, I'm just going to go and select the subject. And I'm just going to go and say, so if the subject contains the text order in any way, it's going to go on and actually proceed with this filter. So let's go and continue. And yep, it is actually working. Now, the next thing we want is to add a Slack module here. So I'm just going to go and do that. 
So I need a Slack module right here. As for the action event, I'm just going to go and choose this from here. Send general message. Let's go and actually sign in with my Slack account here. Just give me a second. There you go. I have added my Slack. Let's go and configure this now. As for the channel in which I want all the emails to be sent is going to be this order email channel. As for the text message, I'm just going to go and map it through the email. So the first thing I want is to actually have the subject, which is going to be order. Then I need to have the body of the email. And the next thing I want is to have a message for my team to actually proceed or dispatch the order. So I'm just going to go and say, please proceed with dispatching. There you go. And the next thing I want is to actually have the link to this email in case they want to double check. So I'm just going to go and see email link and I'm going to map this to the email link right here, which is this message URL. And last thing that I want is to actually have the date on which this email actually arrived so that we can be accountable for time. So I'm just going to go and say date and then I'm going to go on and choose the date of the email from right here. And that's all. That's the payload that I want. To be sent to my channel as for the bot name is going to be zapier email bot as for the bot icon i'm just going to go and leave that empty as for the later options you can just leave them as it is now all you have to do is just go on and continue and there you go everything is there let's go and test this step and there you go everything is working now if i go to my slack desktop application as you can see i have the subject which is order the order number and the details as well as I have the link to the email and the date and one more thing that we can do is we can actually go on and test this out again we can go on and send a new email let's go and send this email and if I go to my inbox you can see I get the new order here so yes the order is here and now if I open up my slack desktop application you can see that I have the order number one as well as the subject here which is the order from whoever and everything else is the same. So this makes sure that our automation is actually working. And this way you can actually go on and post emails as notifications over your Slack channel, which later on can be utilized by your team to actually dispatch orders. And this can actually lift the efficiency of your delivery time. So yeah, this was the second use case that I wanted to talk about. And it is really amazing for me at least. So I hope this video was valuable. And if you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.